Hello Godotters! Today I show you my latest development that is a Godot Editor tool, a plugin. First I show you how it works and then I show you how to get it uh, on your own editor. So this is the SDoc, let's say a super doc, by which you can format controls in a better way or a more user-friendly way. If you have nothing uh, in your project, like me right now, you can uh, simply change the background color. So this is a feature, so you don't have to go to the project menu and find uh, this function, but you can do it here. And things are more interesting if you add control, like a button. As you can see, it adds a small button, we resize it, add the name, buffet, and you can start to play with it. For safety reason, you have to unlock the SDoc feature for a new control. So just click on the red, you can see it's open. You have access to the font, the font size, and the font color, the radius, the background color, and the style start playing with the size of the font. It's really easy. Okay, if you like it, then just change the color of the font. Add some radius. Now, you can see that when we changed the background uh, property of this control, it became a flat uh, design. From now you have many uh, options to change. Ah, it's transparent color. Okay. This is my button. And this is the normal style. And we can change it when it's hovered. Let's say it's not expanded here. We can copy the background color to the hover version. Let's add some expand. works. Expanding when hovering with mouse. Okay, let's add <coughs> another, just a label. We change the background color. Great. But you can add more. And this is it's not the best, but it's an LCD. Okay. And SDoc has a great feature that you can multiple uh, select objects. And if you click on Decreasing font size, it will decrease one by one, so it's not 24 for all fonts, but adding one or 
decreasing by one the font size of each of them okay and uh, what does this HQ or high quality means if we turn it off you can see that the picture is a bit uh, pixel and in this way it's anti-aliased why because it is changing the custom fonts settings use mip maps and use filter so it just turn it on and turn it off so this is the first version of sdoc if you would like to use sdoc just visit the link that i provide in the description of this video download the sdoc 1.0 zip file it will download you this file okay so inside the zip file you will find the sdoc folder this is what you will need just copy and go to your project folder where you store your current project files and if you don't have the add-ons folder then please create it so add-ons and paste the unzipped files here and then launch your project nothing changed because you have to add two things to your project in the project settings first add an auto load file from the addons as doc this pp.gd file and <coughs> the node name has to be pp with lower case and be sure that it's enabled and then you can enable and now you can see that it appears here very important that for the first time you have to restart Godot before you use it because it will throw some errors as uh, not everything is properly loaded when you just uh, start it from here so we will exit <coughs> actually we don't have to uh, save it and then we relaunch the project from now we can do what we want First, every control is blocked because I don't want you to destroy your formatting, uh, your existing uh, format. But if you wish, you can start using SDOC. Okay, and uh, if you think that you don't need it anymore you can easily remove it from your project just go to project settings you will see that actually sdoc uses three autoload singletons you can delete them and then you can set sdoc as inactive close you don't have to save it and delete the add-ons folder as the folder here and then just reopen your project 
and you will see your project is clear no relation to Facebook anymore if you like this tool please like this video share this video with your friends and subscribe and you will get more about Godot soon. Bye!